It's time now to start down the long road of chapter 10. Now in chapter 10 I'm going to at the very least start out doing um, a lot of extra problems that aren't technically part of the Excel assignment. Um, that's because there are a lot of different ways to do tests. Namely, there's left-tailed tests where the alternative hypothesis is less than, for example, in this problem. There's right-tailed tests like this one. And there's two-tailed tests. Plus, we have confidence intervals, which we already know how to find from previous. Then we've got this p-value thing. And then we've got the classical method, which doesn't use the p-value. And then, of course, the p-value method. So we have a lot of different methods and a lot of different directions we can go. So I'm going to start off by doing number 11 right here, which is the left-tailed test, as you see. All right. So I've already typed in all the information. Um, I have the null hypothesis. I have the level of significance, which is alpha, right there, 0.05. This population standard deviation, sigma, which is 12. Sample size, n, and so on. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is find the standard error of the mean, which is sigma, which is this guy right here, 12, divided by the square root of the sample size, which was 24 in this case. And again, I'm using cell references, B3 and B4, um, as is the case with most of these tutorials. And that's because, of course, if I create this correctly, then I can go in and copy and paste it into another problem later and use it. All right, so that's the standard error. Next, I need the critical value, which we first learned how to find, believe it or not, in Chapter 7. Um, the critical value is norm S inverse of alpha. Um, it's only alpha because it's a left-tailed test. So there you go. Next, we need the test statistic. Oh, I better make it shin. This is a z-test statistic. The reason it's a z-test, besides the fact that we're in section 10.2, which is z-tests, is that you're given sigma in the problem. If you're not given sigma, then it's not a z-test, it's something else. And we'll deal with those in 10.3. All right, the z-test statistic we need to standardize. Now you can use the standardize function right there, or you could use the formula, which is available in section 3.4 or 3.2, no, 3.4. So we did it way back then. All right, x, it says x, but what we need is x bar, which is this guy right here, 47.1, comma, the mean. Well, you assume the mean to be 50, right, the null hypothesis over here, unless you prove it otherwise, comma, standard deviation. Well, we're not going to use standard deviation because we're talking about a sample. We're going to use the standard error. So that's this guy right here. Okay, so it's slightly different. Um, in practice than it was back in section 3.4. Um, x, the first number is your x bar, the middle number is your mean from the null hypothesis, the last one is your standard error. There we go. That's the test statistic right there. Bold. And let me make that a color. And I know the problem didn't ask for this, but I'm going to find this anyway just so you know how. The p-value would be norm s dist of that value, the z test statistic. So let me type that. There we go. That's the p-value, just in case you wanted to know that. Okay, so let's see if we've answered all the questions they had. Um, if the sample mean, oopsie, if the sample mean is determined to be 47.1, compute the test statistic. There it is. So right there is the answer for A. If the researcher decides to test this at the 0.05 level of significance, determine the critical value. Oop, there's B right there. I'll make it a different color. How about blue? Okay, so this is the answer to B. This is the answer to A. Draw a normal curve. Well, we can't really do that with Excel, so don't worry about that. Will the researcher reject the null hypothesis and why? Let me make this bigger. All right, you can see here that we're not going to reject, and there's two reasons you can see it. So we do not reject do not reject H not the null hypothesis because the Z test statistic is an oopsie is not lower than the critical value. You're looking at lower than because it's a left tail test. Or do not reject because the p-value, 0.118, is not lower than alpha. There we go. All done.